Good afternoon. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society, and uh, we're going to discuss some things about tongue thrust today, and I've had about 10 cases on that, and I'm going to try to show all of them just real quick, and how we did certain things in the tongue thrust uh, problem, and we'll continue with that. Let me get my little pen here. Uh, here with the first case in this uh, second deal, there'll be number four, and we'll start this case. We showed it where we bought it a three to three retainer and put the little hooks on it, and uh, it had the same effect. It, we bonded it to the teeth real good, and uh, it does the same thing, and you went ahead and bracketed the teeth, and this way you can line the teeth up and don't have the bad space in there, but it has a few other drawbacks to it. And uh, we went ahead and finished the case uh, just like we normally would. It had a kind of a class two uh, situation on the right side, and the overjet is way out on one uh, area there, and another tooth is not far. And if you look at the other side, it's nearly class one, so there's a lot of difference in that respect. But uh, what we're primarily uh, wanting to show you in this case, we bonded a three to three, and then spot weld the put the spot welded pad over here and we came back and bonded the wire to each of these teeth i wanted to make uh, dead sure that thing didn't come loose uh, in the mouth i sure wouldn't want that to happen so anyway we finished the case out with this and did the rest of the orthodontics and now is case number five uh, it uh, is a young man and he's got a pretty good uh, open bite situation going on here and it's uh, doing quite good and the uh, open bite and we bonded this time a lingual arch and took the lingual arch and bonded these little wires to that. In other words, a heavy wire going along in here. Go back to the six-year molars. And we bonded the hook wires to that. And we'll show you it. We could use it too. It, it doesn't seem to matter what we... Uh, just so we put these fingers back pointing toward the tongue, it would come up and hit these uh, points and it just once or twice and then they didn't come up there anymore. And so we could break the uh, the habit that the person has. And when you do that, the teeth will come down like in the bite will close up again. So let me get this down here. And I'm going to push this button. And there's something rattling over here to the side. All right, we'll go ahead and we finish this case with a lingual arch. It worked fine, but I, the, my favorite thing is to put bands on the teeth and go ahead and do the case like that. So anyway, we finished this, this this out with the lingual arch with the little fingers on it. And the next case is number six. And this is a young lady who had a uh, had some bicuspids removed. And we banded the teeth and put the little fingers on that. And it gets the tongue the same way and and able to correct it in that manner. And I'm going to go through it pretty quick. 
and there it is the way it fit and that case worked out good too so anyway we will finish this video and we've got uh, four more cases we'll show in another one uh, and we'll pretty well cover everything in doing that so we'll say goodbye and hope that you got something out of this uh, video.